So we learned the basics of using props in Node.js code steps. We could pass things like objects, arrays, strings, integers, etc. But we can also define apps within props. You may have already seen this with certain pre-built actions that say use any API. For example, let's look at our postmark app. At the very top, you'll see a special option called Use Any Postmark API. We can select this, and it automatically builds this Node.js code scaffolding. You can see that there's a prop section, and it included a postmark prop with a type of app. It also defines what the app is. It's a postmark app. This definition generated the postmark account field above the code. This is where you can authenticate your postmark account, and then you can use the postmark prop to inject the authentication token or API key or whatever the method uses for that particular API into your request. So even though we're seeing a postmark icon and the step is called postmark, it's really just a Node.js code step that happens to have an app prop called postmark. Let's do it with a Node.js code step to really drive the point home. We'll look for Node.js, and we'll run Node code, and we'll inject the Slack app directly into this Node.js code step. So we could say props, add a comma at the end, and we'll define a Slack app. That's the type of an app, and the app we're injecting is Slack, obviously. We'll click Refresh Fields, and this will generate a Slack app field where we can connect our Slack account and then use it within this pipe dream Node.js code step. To find the name of a specific app, just head on over to our public registry, and here you can see the name to use within the prop. So if we want to use active trail, for example, we use active underscore trail as the app name within our prop definition. The biggest value out of using the app props within your code steps is that you don't have to worry about OAuth authentication or refreshing access tokens if they expire. Pipedream automatically handles refreshing tokens, managing tokens for you. That way you can just worry about writing code integrations in your workflows.